Hey beer tubers, what is up? It's Tim here for Hopsicle One. And tonight I've got a Trappist brew. And it is the uh, Abbey St. Remy and Rochefort Fildrum. And this is the Rochefort Tim. A Trappist brew. As many of you know, there's only seven Trappist breweries in the world. And six are in Belgium, one in the Netherlands. And this is one from Belgium. Trappist for Rochefort Tim. And of course, I'm drinking it in a Trappist glass. I'm drinking it in my West Mall Trappist glass. Uh, beautiful glass. Uh, I really like this glass. Um, I'll show you the bottle cap on the tin. Uh, Trappist Rochefort tin. Beer space Trappist. Trappist beer. Uh, many of you know that I know my Trappist brews. I've had all of them, including, including the Best Lecterian 12. And uh, Chimay Blue continues to be my favorite for various reasons. Uh, I, the Best Lecterian 12 and the Rochefort 10, in my opinion, are very close to each other. Uh, this beer is available everywhere. The Best Lecterian 12, you can only get in Belgium or online, so, or in trades. Uh, so, this is widely available and it is a fantastic brew. I've had it before. So let's get this thing opened up and let's see what we get. Of course, I do know I haven't had it actually the tan in a little while, so looking forward to it. Uh, let's get it poured into the Vesmala Trappist glass. Of course, this is bottle condition, as all our all the Trappist L's are. Uh, bottle conditioned. I'm going to go ahead and swirl the bottom. I do like my yeast in my glass. I pour everything in there. And there you have it. Of course, there's that uh, bottle again. Trappist Horsel 410. And let's look at the body and appearance of this Trappist Ale. Brewed by the monks in the Abbey St. Remy in uh, Rochefort, Belgium. Beautiful looking, dark, dark mahogany. You can see ruby tints through it. Very dark, highly carbonated, bottle conditioned, Trappist quadruple. Uh, there's your appearance. The head's dissipated quickly. This thing is in at 11.3%. Big beer. Um, head dissipated quickly, off white in color. And let's get a nose. And let me tell you what. All right, I can tell you right now is this is a very complex nose and taste on this beer. Let's get a nose on the Trappist Rochefort 10. I mean, I'm getting Belgian yeast, dark roasted malts, plump, raisin, prune, dark fruits. Belgian yeast, it just goes on and on. It's in layers, it's in waves, uh, the complexity of that nose. Now for the taste. Cheers. Wow. One of the best beers on the planet. Uh, roasted malts. Same as in the nose, guys. Um, on that taste is the so, uh, roasted malts, Belgian yeast, a little bit of sourness from the Belgian yeast, dark fruits, uh, prune, plum, raisin, uh, just the complexity that's hard to uh, describe and to compare to another beer. Mm. That thing is fantastic. Uh, Trappist beers do not uh, disappoint. Uh, you will, of all the Trappist beers, I've had every one of them. I still prefer Chimay Blue uh, because there's just something about Chimay Blue. But this beer right here is is unbelievable. Of course, it gets a 100 on Raid Beer. Um, considered one of the top 20 beers in the world and uh, 
like I said, I've had the best Leterra 12, and uh, I think this horse 410 is real close to it. I got the uh, best Leterra 12 online about a, two years ago, and I got it from the BelvinStore.com along with this glass right here. And uh, let's continue to, to uh, review this beer here. This is a sipper. This is a big beer. And this beer, you need to savor it. Uh, Trappist beers, all of them are stellar. Uh, they range from blondes, triples, doubles, quadruples, and Belgian strongs in the styles of all the Trappist styles. Uh, this is a quadruple. Uh, fermented four times and fermented in the bottle uh, and shipped uh, worldwide. Um, this thing is just fantastic, and this is one of my favorite glasses to drink this. I've got a Chimay glass, but when it comes to quadruples, I like it in my Chim in my best Mala Trappist glass. Uh, it's a nice glass there. Um, this is stellar. This is, I haven't had this probably in about eight months, and this I'm enjoying this very much. Wow. Um, this is available everywhere. And this thing, uh, of course, pick it up. Enjoy it slowly. Savor it. 11.3% uh, is a big group. Uh, Trappist Tales are my favorite beers in the world. And they're high class, high dollar. Uh, top quality beers and uh, of course my the second favorite style of mine are bottle conditioned American IPAs um, of which I just had a uh, Marin Brewing's white knuckle uh, bottle conditioned IPA that thing is the best uh, bottle conditioned IPA I've had yet along with Moylan's Hopsicle which I named my new channel after Hopsicle Run so uh, guys, I'm ready to give you a grade on this. I'm at the seven and a half minute mark on this video. Rochefort 10. Trappist beer from Belgium. One of only seven Trappist breweries in the world, brewed by monks at a monastery. The uh, proceeds go to charity and to the monastery. I thought you might like want to uh, like to know that. That's a nice little uh, piece of information there. They help their communities with this beer. Uh, guys, I'm giving this a 100 out of 100. Uh, on a scale of 100, 100. Until the next review, drink with style and drink responsibly. Cheers.